Hey, 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 you know what day it is. What day is it? It's Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. It's Tuesday tea with D. You know, you know, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Tuesday tea with D. Hey, boo, hey, it's your girl. Teacher True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, personal life coach, here with another weekly dose and serving of Tuesday Tea with D. And so today's conversation is as I take a sip of my tea, it's going to be a good conversation. I think it might be a little short and to the point, but I really wanted to share this with you because. I feel like now that we are officially in the second half of 2023, depending upon when you are watching this, um, but recorded in July of 2023, and the message will still resonate with you, even if you are not in the second half of 2023. So let me say that, like wherever you are, whatever you got going on, I know that the way God works certain things is most times by the time you get to this message or when you get to this message, you get it right when you need it, right? Or you put it in your back pocket for when you need it for another day. And so before we jump into things, right? So in my little Tuesday tea with D mug, I am drinking pomegranate, um, pomegranate tea again. And y'all know I have been loving my loose teas and just kind of, you know, taking it all in. And I do have my, um, what do you call it? The lemon sugar in it again. I did put some lemon in it as well, but I have my lemon sugar in it as well. I don't even, I haven't even tried the mango sugar or the peach on the beet sugar. And so I'm going to try that in my tea, but for whatever reason, like I'm stuck on this lemon sugar. It is so good. You hear me? So that is what we are drinking today. The other thing that I wanted to share with you and you know that I've been sharing about this for the past couple of weeks, but the wait list for the I Speak Life Live 2023 event um, is, is open. It has been open. And so if you are interested in joining me December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 2023, I want to personally invite you to join me, join the wait list. Early bird registration is actually going to be opening this month, and the text list is going to be the first um, to get the list. Outside of my other communities who have already gotten access to it, my paid communities, the text list is going to be the first community. Then I'll send it out to my email list, my general email list, my general text messaging list, and my Facebook group. And so again, you can text the number 833-447-0492 and you want to text I Speak Life Live. It's literally right down there. I Speak Life Live to 833-447-0492. And like I said, I have been talking about this for for the last you know, couple of weeks because I want to see your face in the place. And I feel like, listen, we're six months away. You got time. You got time. Do you hear me? So I want you to join me, right? And so at any rate, this week's Tuesday Tea with D, as you know, was brought to you by I Speak Life Live, my empowerment experience for women. And so a three-day transformational spirit-led experience for the woman, the woman of faith, who is really spending a lot of time pouring into everyone else and not allowing herself to be poured back into. And I'm just going to tell you by the time December comes, child, you're going to need your cup filled to the overflow. And I'm excited that I get to be the person to help do that. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that because, again, I'm going to leave this up for a couple of seconds, but I want you to join the wait list. If you already have your ticket, I can't wait to see you, can't wait to hug your neck. But if you don't have your ticket and you are available December 1st, 2nd and 3rd, go on ahead, child, when that, when the, when, get on the list. And when you get the link, go on ahead and register. And guess what? I have two options. I have a full pay option and a four pay option. And so you can pay on it as you go, or you can pay on it all at once. And then also, once you get that, then you'll have access to booking your room at the host hotel because you're going to want to be in the hotel, child. You're going to want to be in there, Um, even if you live local. 
just say this is going to be the weekend for me. I had a few people last year, um, one in particular who was like, nope, I'm actually going to book my own room and I'm going to stay by myself. And this is going to be me time for me, you know, before, during and after the event. And then I had another person who didn't stay and she was like, bet I'm there next year. I should have stayed in a hotel, both local. Right. So I'm just going to say register so you can be in the hotel. All right. So with that being said, um, Let's jump into today's conversation and talk a little bit about the topic of discussion, which is called check your receipts. And if you know anything about me, you know that this is something that I have shared a lot, um, whether through Periscope, my Periscope days, my Facebook Live days, my teaching days, my training days. I'm always talking about, even with my per personal, my private clients, one on one clients, I'm always sharing this phrase with them because for whatever reason life happens situations come disruptions come devastation comes overwhelm comes like just life happens right life be life in and for whatever reason we forget who we are right we forget who God called us to be um, and even if we haven't really tapped into really who God has called us to be we forget you know, some of the things that we have overcome, we forget all of those things. And so I really wanted to bring this as a reminder to you as you get ready to take off in the second half of 2023 to check your receipts, right? Before you start second guessing, before you start questioning, because I don't know about you, there were some things that happened in the first half of 2023 that kind of set me back a little bit and not majorly, but sometimes you just kind of like, whoo, like, oh, goodness, right? Not because I wasn't doing the work, but because life was doing the work, right? Life was just life in. And you sometimes you have to take a step back and you have to remember who you are. It's kind of like if you watch um, Black Panther, the first one, and there's the moment where uh, T'Challa is fighting. And I can't remember his name, but it's the who, 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 who people. <laughs> and <laughs> I crack myself up. And so he is fighting him. And at some point, like he's beating his tail. Like, can we be honest? Like he getting whooped out. And his mother all of a sudden says, remember who you are. And like he has this flashback. And then even like if we see like certain movies, um, I love Rocky movies, Creed movies, um, action movies. But there's a moment where like there's a fight scene and the person is getting whooped out. And then all of a sudden there's like this flashback of all of these different things. One of my my all time favorite movies, The Last Dragon there's a moment where it's not until the end, right? But where he's fighting um, the Shogun, right? The master, and Shonuf, right? But he's a Shogun of Harlem, right? And so he's fighting Shonuf. If you don't know about The Last Dragon, if you have never heard of The Last Dragon, shame on you. I will just say shame, shame, shame on you. And so at any rate, they're fighting at the end. He's like, you know, who's the master? Who's the master? So as he's like dipping his head in the water, he's having these flashbacks of his master, you know, revealing certain things to him. And he finally kind of like he remembers. Right. And so he's checking his receipts. Right. And so I really wanted to come as that person, the narrator, to kind of flash before you and to, to really to tell you and remind you to check your receipts. Right. Right. Remember how, rem, just remember what you have overcome. Remember how far you have come. Remember what, um, what you have done, right? And so it may not always be what you have overcome, but what you have accomplished. Like you have accomplished some things. You have done some things. And so check your receipts, check your records, check your resume, um, check what you've done up until this point. And I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to give you a homework assignment as your coach to take some time to journal and write your receipts out. What have you accomplished? What have you done? What have you overcome, right? There's some things that you have gone through that would have killed most of us, right? There's some things that you have gone through that may not have killed any of us, but you still overcame it. You still got through it. You still, like, literally. And so I think it's really important for us to take take some time. If you have not taken the time to, to go back last, last week, I was going to say last year, last week, for the mid-year checkup and answer the questions and the conversation that I had with you about being at the halfway point of the year. And I want you to literally check check your receipts. Because can I just tell you that if I, if I know anything about you, I know like, honey, you brings it. I know that um, you are a force to be reckoned with. 
I know that you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. And I'm not here for the old, oh, you know, we're, we're strong and we don't need help. And we're not like, I'm talking about just, there's some things that like you've been able to overcome that it, it literally would have broke most people. And I don't say that from a standpoint of giving you, you know, a reward to continue being strong in areas that maybe you need to kind of stay, take a step back and let other people handle some things. But what I'm saying is, is, is that you overcame it, that, you know, that God walked through, God, God walked with you through it. He didn't let you fall. And, you know, and you made it. Can we just say that? Like you made it, right? Um, I want you to check how, like, what, what did you really overcome? What did you come out of, right? What are you currently going through that might be trying to take you out? And you're like, no, I've been here before. And if I haven't been here before, I've been through something similar. And so I got to kind of go back because I'm this, this can't take me out. Can we be honest? Like there are some things that really will try to take us out. And from a spiritual standpoint, we understand that that's the enemy's assignment to still kill and to destroy. He literally wants to divide and conquer. He wants to devour. He wants to devastate. He wants to disrupt, disrupt. He wants to distract. Like he wants to do all the things. And the reality is, is, is that sometimes he'll make you think that what he is trying to do is actually working. And the reality is, is it's not working. He's just trying to slow you down. He can't stop you. That's a word for somebody. He can slow you down, but he can't stop you. The only one who can stop you is you. But let me just help you take a pause, take a step back, do your mid-year check-in. But while you're doing the mid-year check-in, I want you to check your receipts. I want you to check into your power. I want you to check how you've excelled beyond what others expected. I want you to um, check your experience and your expertise. I want you to literally check it all and run it back. I said it. I want you to check it all and I want you to run it back. Why? Because in this season, it is important for you to remember who you are, to remember whose you are, but also to remember how you've overcome. If I could make it biblical for if we could just go Bible real quick. There is a moment where David is getting ready to fight Goliath and he's basically telling them what qualifies him. And he's basically saying that if God was with me um, with the lions, if he was with me with the bears, like if he was with me in, in those situations, he gonna be, he's going to be with me here. He's going to be with me here. If God protected me in all of those other areas, then he's going to be with me here. And so if, if, if God allowed you to get out there, He's going to allow you to get out here. If God allowed you to excel there, he's going to allow you to excel here. If God allowed you to overcome there, then you're going to overcome here. Like I need you to check your receipts. Can you do that for me? Can you check your receipts? I need you to check your receipts. I need you to like literally right now. I just want you to take about three seconds and think about, yeah, I did that. Right. Maybe you the degrees, the jobs, um, the people that you've managed, the ministries, the children that you've raised, other people's children that children that you've raised, like check your receipts. OK, because I think you forgot who you were. I think you forgot what what you bring to the table. I think you forgot how powerful you are. I think you forgot how strong you are. I think you forgot how creative you are. I think you forgot how intellectual you are. Do I need to keep going on? I think you forgot. And so I just came with a little reminder to remind you to check your receipts. Check your receipts. Take some time today to go back and say, Lord, remind me of what I've overcome. Let me just take a take a step back and just look back over my life. And in that, you'll begin to see, man, okay, I think I got this. I think I can run it back. <laughs> I think, and sometimes you need to tell the enemy, check my receipts, <laughs> check my receipts. Cause see, I, you know, I'm, you, you might be able to get me, you know, try to, to try to knock me this way. But once I get back, it's over. You might try to knock me that way, but once I get back up, it's over. I'm always going to get back up. I'm always 
going to get back up. I'm always going to run it back. I'm always going to show up. I'm always, and here's the thing, the reason why I think it's also important for you, thank you, Holy Spirit, for you to check your receipts, because I think while you've been spending so much time showing up for everybody else, you need to check your receipts so you can show up for you. Yeah, I came with the fire today. You need to check your receipts, sometimes not for you, not for them, but for you. Right. Because while you've been helping everybody else and supporting everybody else and showing up for everybody else and encouraging everybody else and coaching everybody else and holding everybody else's arms up. The reality is, is now you got to run it back. And so if you could if you can do it for them, you could do it for you. Period. Period. And so I felt like I needed to just come and give you a little pep talk today on this Tuesday Tea with D because I know I needed it. Like I needed to run some things back. I needed to say, okay, no, nah, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'm 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 a little bit more qualified than you think. Really talking to the enemy. Like I'm I'm a little I'm I'm listen, I'm bringing the fire. I brings the fire. You heard me right. I brings the fire. Okay. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be able to the same in the same way that you hype up, you know, your people, right? If it's the men, you hype up your boys. You're, if it's a woman, you hyping up your girls, right? Like you be hyping them up. I had to get a little, you know. But in that, I need you to hype yourself up. I need you to run it back. <laughs> I need you to check your receipts, check your resume, check your record, check it. And I promise you, if you take the time to check your receipts and take the time just to and just act like just sit quietly, go for a walk and just say, God, remind me of who I am. And if you are not sure, ask him to show you who you are. Ask him to help you to see you the way he sees you. If you've been with me, you know that that's one of my things too. Lord, help me to see me the way you see me. Because sometimes the reason why we, we shrug back a little bit is because we're really unsure of who God created us to be. We're really unsure of the power that we carry. We're really unsure of the purpose that he deposited inside of us. We're really unsure of the gifts and the call that has our name written on it. And so when you get sure about that thing, run it back. When you get sure about that thing, not only run it back, but then run into it. Like be ready for this, like this year, decide that you're going to do the work, decide that you're going to overcome, decide that you're going to endure, decide that you're going to persevere, but also decide that you're going to have fun, decide that you're going to enjoy life, decide that you're going to live and thrive instead of survive, decide, like decide, make the decision today to give yourself permission to live the life that you said you wanted to live. Check your receipts because you, you get to do that. And no, again, nobody can stop you, but you. Right. The enemy will try to he'll try. He'll get in the way. He might slow you down, but he can't stop you. The only one who can stop you is you because it's you that decides that what the enemy is doing is too much. And so I had to make a personal declaration like, no, you don't you don't get to decide when I stop. I know you keep. And, and then here's the thing. And then I'm going to stop here. Sometimes not only is it important to check your receipts, but it's also important sometimes to check the enemy's receipts because then you can begin to recognize. And those of you who know me, you know what I'm going about to say. You got to pay attention to patterns because when you pay attention to patterns, then you'll start to see that, oh, I'm on to something. So that's why you run, that's why you trying to run it back. I'm almost I'm almost there. And so you trying to stop me from getting there. I'm almost to the point of seeing who I really am, but you don't want me to see who I really am. I'm almost to the point of stepping into the fullness of who God called me and created me to be. And you don't want that. And so sometimes you got to pay attention. When, did, when? How come every time this happens, that happens? My, my, my students, my clients, my community, they know when I say pay attention to the patterns, they know exactly what, they, what I'm talking about. And so sometimes you got to pay attention to the patterns of the enemy, pay attention to the patterns to the people in your life, pay attention to the patterns of the different things that are going on. Maybe sometimes pay attention to your own self-sabotaging patterns and tell yourself to stop it. Child, I don't even have time. I was only supposed to be here for a little bit. Sometimes you have to tell yourself, OK, we're going to stop doing this because we're, we're we're sabotaging. We're sabotaging what it is that we desire. We're sabotaging the goal. We're sabotaging whatever it is. Right. And so sometimes you got to check your own receipt so that you can stop sabotaging. Right. And so I don't want to hear anything about, well, I don't have anything and my stuff is not as exciting as everybody else. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that. I asked you to check your receipts. I ask you to go back to what you've overcome and how you made it out and what you've accomplished. You've accomplished some things. 
You've overcome some things. You've done some things. You've raised some amazing children. You've supported some people in ministry. You've created programs and you've taught some things and you've gone across the stage and graduated with some things. And you've like, there's some things that you've done, right? You've loved some people back to life. Like there's some things that you've done. And so I want you to check your receipts, not just for all the things that you've done for other people, but so that you can show up for you, Okay. So with that being said, um, yes, this is this is a little bit about what you're going to get when you join me in December for I Speak Life Live 2023. I am not coming to play. And I know that part of, I believe, uh, some of the distractions and disturbances that I have going on have, have everything to do with the assignment for the rest of the year, um, which also includes connecting with you in December. You see how I'm already like inviting you in because I know you're going to be there. Um, and so I want you to get your ticket. And so if you have not already, it's there. If you have not already, text I Speak Life Live to 833-447-0492. I want to see your name on the list and I want to be able to see your name registered for the early bird pricing um, and registration when it opens up. And so Preferably, today's tea was good for you. It was what you needed. And you will take the time after today um, and maybe come back and listen to this a couple more times because you might need that little kick in the hiney um, in order to kind of just run it back. Right. And again, make sure you are. And I shouldn't say again, but I say it every every week, which is why I'm saying it again. But make sure you share this with someone. Pick three people. As a matter of fact, pick five people. That's the number of grace. Pick five people to share this link with and say, listen, you need to check this out and you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, invite them to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like all the videos. And then also make sure you comment. That helps me. That lets me know that you're listening. Um, what's your takeaway from today? Like what? Like, how, how, how are you? What, what, I want to know what some of your receipts are in the comments, right? When you check your receipts, put them in the comments, right? And I don't need you to be bashful. Like, this is not the time to be bashful. This is not the time to be like, oh, I don't know if I want to share all. No, this is the time to boast. This is the time to brag. This is the time because you need to let the enemy know, like, listen, no, I'm running it back. Okay, so I don't need you being bashful. I need something down in the comments to let me know what receipts you check in. Okay, you didn't check your receipts. What was on the list? That's what I want to know. So I will see you next week for another dose and another edition of Tuesday Tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday Tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday Tea with D. Come on, come on, Tuesday Tea with D.